Hello BC, hello Marty, how are you doing? This is Christian down here in Santiago, Chile, doing my entry to your contest, to your 600 uh, subs, co subs contest. First of all, congratulations on reaching uh, way more than 600 subscribers. I think you're almost there to the magic 666 now. Um, uh, subs, but there it goes. Uh, I think um, this is a really, really cool uh, contest you have asked to um, to uh, to complete these two uh, very simple tasks, but at the same time, you have to uh, dig uh, deep in your collection and try to come out with some cool uh, answers. What you ask ask uh, or what Marty is asking us to uh, to do is to show uh, five um, movies with um, within the title that are related to uh, songs, bands, albums uh, from our from our music collection, and then show three in. Um, uh, movies or, or soundtracks that we dig um, a lot or we like or we think they are cool uh, or to uh, try to uh, show to uh, the rest of the BC maybe you should go after and take them and have, have a good um, time watching these uh, movies so first of all I was coming, having some kind of struggles I had some idea of what I wanted uh, to do to respond uh, to to, uh, to the question that to question number one that Marty asked, uh, so I decided uh, yes, um, heavy metal bands or rock or or extreme bands that play this kind of music, they do have a, a lot of influences of, of movies and and horror themes and and this this should be an, an a cool idea to do. So I decided, what if uh, a band have a lot of uh, movie references in the music, but actually um, they uh, have the title of the of the of the movie in the in the in the song. So I came a, 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 along a couple of those, uh, but then I, I switched ideas and said, "Yes, I think my favorite band, yes, Iron Maiden, has have and will have I will always uh, have." A lot of uh, movie references in the in the in the in the in the song. Of course, we have the the, the usual ones, but I here I have found five, uh, and if, if if I keep digging, I, I I'm sure I will be finding more movies um, that uh, Steve Harris and the boys uh, use as idea or, or typos in the songs. There are some um, obvious ones, but here are a couple uh, two that I'm going to show that. I have no idea there were uh, actual movies, there were all movies and I think um, Steve uh, watched when he was really young or, 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 or someone else. So the first one I'm going to go is with um, is from this one. Um, this is um, of course uh, Power Slave, great great album, great artwork, more on this on, on future videos. And track number one, you can go you can see there is Ace is High. And I found out there is there is a movie from 1960, 1976, where uh, the, the main character is, is played by Malcolm McDowell, the, and the story tells is goes the storyline goes like this: uh, in, uh, in, uh, yes, an aide, young officer straight from school, arrives on the Western Front to fight the air, the air war against the Germans. However, the life the life expectancy of green pilot is not very good. So I have no idea this was actually a movie from 1976 and I will try to, to, to leave here um, the, the, the poster or the, or the art or the from, the, from the from the movie so you can maybe check this one out. So there goes ACSI from um, Power Slave. That's my number one. Number two. This is uh, another one I have no idea and it's from, and it's from um, somewhere in time. And it's uh, track number where it goes. Yes, there it is. And it's uh, the first track of the side two is the lonely, the loneliness of the long distance runner. Then that's actually a movie from. Uh, let me see here. It's from the ghost storylines. It's a movie from nineteen. Uh, let me see. Nineteen sixty two. A, re a rebellious young uh, youth is sentenced to a boy's uh, reformatory for robbing a bakery, um, and he, during his he 
he rises through the ranks of the institution through the pro his prowess as a long distance runner. During his solitary runs, he reads of his life and times before his incarceration lead him to reevaluate his privileged status as the governor's prize runner. So that's really cool. I had no idea there, there was actually a movie titled The Loneliness of the Long Distance Runner and it's from 1962. Next one, uh, this one is, a, um, is a, I think it's pretty obvious from uh, their debut from um, Iron Maiden and, the, and you know, of course it's track number 4, it's Phantom of the Opera and I think the, the movie that um, uh, Steve Harris was watching or it was near to, to his, his release, it, it, it's one from 1962 and we all know the story of, um, of, the, front of uh, the storyline of Phantom of the Opera uh, an acid, an acid scared composer ha has his dwarf helper bring an opera singer to London to to severe uh, hideout to his London sewer hideout. So there he uh, he, he he has he, he had this plot to uh, to terrorize a London Opera House about the, the, the performance they are having of the stolen operas that he uh, wrote many years ago. So that's number three. And the, the last two, I think they're the, 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 the big ones, the pretty obvious of, uh, in this um, series. And the first one is, um, of course, uh, from uh, Peace of Mind, probably one of the best things they have ever made. And the track is, uh, of course, uh, where it is, one, two, three, and it's uh, here in Spanish. And of course, it's uh, Quest for Fire from 1981. This is um, uh, a movie di directed by uh, what's the name of the guy? Can't remember. Ah, it's directed by Jean-Jacques Arnaud, uh, a French uh, director. From uh, he he creates he creates um, the storyline goes like this. If you remember, this story takes place in prehistoric pre times. When three tribes, tribes men search for a new fire source, and the main character of Go, uh, it's um, kind of well-known actor is Ron Perlman, and he plays uh, Amunak or Amukar. That's the the the, the main character, <clears throat> and he's the one that, that goes out searching for another source of fire. The 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 thing about this. This movie is that it's <coughs> it's created uh, with the, the I think the director created a special language and, and it has no 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 dialogue in this um, in this movie. It's, it's it's a good one. Not it's not a master it's it's not a master masterpiece. I think the song is better than the movie, but it's a cool one to watch. It's from 1981, of course, Quest for Fire, and the last one, of course, again from this one, and it's uh, track number one. There it goes. This is my old cassette from '81, from '83, and it's uh, <coughs> where Eagles Dead. It's from 1968. Of, of course, we have had two uh, big uh, actors, Sir Richard Burton and uh, Clint Eastwood. Uh, um, the storyline goes like this: Allied agents stage a daring raid on a castle where uh, the nasty the, the Nazis are holding American Brigadier General George Carnaby prisoner. That, uh, but that's not. Uh, but that's not all the real, what's real going on. That's a really, really cool movie, and that's a real old movie. It's from 1968, with two big um, actors here, Sir Richard Burton and Clint Eastwood. It's a really good, it, it's a really good one. I think it's as, it is as good as the uh, song by Maiden. So that, that's part uh, one of my entry. The next one is to show uh, three movies. <coughs> I'm not a massive movie guy, I have not been to the cinema uh, in a long time, but here I have three ones that I think they are really, really cool. First one is uh, from a really fun guy that he um, has uh, good movies. It's a School of Rock. There it goes. We all know this, um, we all know this, this movie. He, he's a sub that, and he, he has some many issues and he's trying to, uh, to get away and Put this band together to uh, win a, con a, a contest, and then uh, 
take away the, uh, the price that it's already got and solve all of this problem. But we all know how things work out in, at the end. So it's a really good one. School of Rock, that's my pick number one. Number two, it's a really kind of a um, good vibe move, a good vibe move, although it has a, um, some meaningful uh, message here. Um, with two big actors, uh, one I really like, like very, very much, and it's um, the bucket list, or here it, it was uh, translated to um, antes de partir, that's before you leave, kind of um, kind of uh, translation. It's a really good one. Of course, I like uh, Jack uh, Nicholson very, very much, uh, and Morgan Freeman, a really cool actor. This is a really good one, and that's um, that's a very um, uplifting movie if, in a kind of way if you, if you want to think about it and um, it's fun it's not a masterpiece but you want to have a, a, cool t a good time seeing uh, two big actors having a blast on, on the silver screen it goes at the bucket list and finally a really fun one I think this is a guy's movie um, I have uh, had this conversation with the with the girls the women and sometimes when this movie was released and the, the second one and the third one was released, they don't get it. Um, uh, this this very um, masculine humor with uh, with very um, uh, harsh scenes, not har harsh things, but with heavy uh, things, with drinking and prostitutes and stuff like that, gambling, uh, and it's uh, with uh, with a wicked wicked uh, masculine sense of humor, if you know what I mean. And I'm talking about the, the, the Hangover Trilogy. I think, of course, the, the first one is the best one because it was really un, unex, un, unexpected what, what was going on. The second one is good. The third one is kind of eh, they I think they were um, doing the same thing again and again. But you can't deny um, how this uh, movie uh, uh, made a, uh, a big impact on uh, Bradley Cooper. Uh, Korea and of course um, this guy I'm not going to pronounce his uh, last name is really complicated uh, but it's a fun movie uh, every, every every time I have the, the chance uh, to, uh, to see it uh, I give it a go it's really fun uh, uh, Mike Tyson plays a great plays a good um, uh, uh, part in this movie this is a, a three disc uh, set I, I received this one from my brother and wolf pack only the hangover uh, retrospective this is really cool uh, every time i had the chance i, I, I give it a go away uh, it's a fun movie to to watch and have um, maybe a couple of drinks with with it and enjoy with you with uh, with with your with your friends so uh, that's it uh, marty thanks for having this this cool contest i'm really sure you will be hitting big numbers in your in your in your channel your show awesome awesome contest con uh, content and yeah, that's it. This is Cristiano here in Santiago, Chile saying goodbye till next time. Hope you like my uh, choices. Uh, I will, of course, leave a link to Marty's channel below and I will try to uh, put um, pictures here of the movies that I have shown in case you want to, to check those one out. This is Cristiano again saying goodbye till next time.